Hey folks, I thought I would show you how to um, program the Arduino or the Feather, the Adafruit Feather board. Um, this is this board, I call it Arduino because it actually uses, it works a lot like the Arduino, so it's almost indistinguishable in most ways. This is a tiny little board, as you can tell. Um, here's the USB. Pretty cool, actually. Oh, there it is. So, see, it says Feather. And if you notice over there, we already have one plugged into the Raspberry Pi. Um, this thing on top, that's just the particle sensor that I'm also playing with. That's unrelated right now. Um, and what you're seeing there is you're seeing how much voltage and how many amps it's drawing. And as you will, um, yeah, it's kind of low, but that's because this is a Raspberry Pi. Um, don't really notice any serious problems, although I'm sure some the electrical engineers may be screaming right now that it's going so low voltage. but. I don't really see a problem right now. So anyway, here's the point. When we want to install a software for this, we're going to we, we're going to actually need to get the software from the Arduino website. I know you can go to apt-get and you can find it. You can do apt sudo The problem is that this Arduino is like version 2 point something. It is not the one that we want. So do not get that one. Well, you can get it, but it's just, it's not gonna work with what we're doing here, okay? Um, what we need is we need to get the one that is at the top of this, at this site, which is arduino.cc slash en main and software, okay? Notice the caps and everything, okay? And here you're gonna notice that we have Windows, Windows, Mac, Linux 32, Linux 64, and Linux ARM. Now you should know by now that Raspberry Pi is ARM. So we click Linux ARM. You will be sent to the page where they will ask you, would you like to support Arduino? Um, I did the first time I downloaded it, but you know, I'd rather they not keep asking me. So now I just click on the just download button. As you notice, it's gonna to start to download the file. Now I've already downloaded it, so I mean, there's no need for me to repeat this process. Once you're done, you're gonna notice it here in your downloads folders. Like I said, um, this it's doing it twice, so. The point is, once you're here, okay, go ahead and right click on it, okay? And then we can go ahead and click on open. Yeah, it takes a while. Now here, you click on where it says extract files. You can also do this from the terminal, but I just, I'm feeling lazy. Let's go ahead and click extract. Yeah, this does take a while. <clears throat> okay. And this folder, we just move it into the Pi directory. I had the Arduino version 2 in here, so that's why that's there. But this is the one, like I said, the one we want. So once we are in this folder, we want to run this file. So we go ahead and we, we don't want to do that. We go cd arduino 1.8.1. Oh, then we run the install file dot slash install dot sh. You should notice it is adding. It's going to add. <coughs> there it is. Now, once we're here. We double click on this. Here we are. In here, if you've got the right version, when you go in here, you're going to notice that you have an option to add additional boards. See this here? Now here, you're going to add the following. HTTPS colon slash slash datafruit.com Package Adafruit Index. 
dot json. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's go to Tools. Let's see where it says Board here. Let's go to where it says Boards Manager. Let's go ahead and in here, let's type SAMD. We go ahead and install this one. Okay, that took a very long time. Now we have to install this other SAMD. Oh, wow, <clears throat> that took about a half an hour, so be prepared. Okay, so once this is all done, Let's go ahead and close this. Okay. Now let's go to Tools. And let's go ahead and go to Board. And in here, now, you see where it says Adafruit Feather M0. Let's go ahead and select that. Now let's go ahead and install set something up real quick and we're going to say pin mode 13 output semicolon <clears throat> we're going to make it blink twice there we go let's go ahead and upload and pay attention to the light Wow, wow, wow. We got an error. All right, well, let's go check. Ah, probably well, because we need that. You notice the different blinking pattern? I can make it blink all kinds of ways. I mean, I can do this. I can do um, 500, 500 and then make this 1500 and then 1500 and then send it over there. As you can tell, I can even make it, um, you know, 100 and 1500. Make it more dramatic. Anyway, the point is that it works. As you can tell, the blink patterns change. So as long as you got that, you know you can program anything else. That's all we really wanted to do here. So once we pass this, any other code you can do, any other code you find for this thing will work. Okay? So if you got any questions, let me know, okay? Okay, take care. Bye.